गुड मॉर्निंग डियर चिल्ड्रन दिस इज मनाली आइलानी फ्रॉम एल एच एस ग्वालियर एंड आई वेलकम यू टू माई क्लास रूम आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड फॉलोइंग द लॉकडाउन वेरी सीरियसली एंड इंजॉइंग आर वीडियोज चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस जोग्राफी चैप्टर टू इन साइड आर अर्थ इन दिस चैप्टर वील डिस्कस अबाउट लेयर्स ऑफ द अर्थ rocks and minerals types of rocks and the rock cycle so let's begin as we all know earth is the only planet in the solar system which has life on it not only this earth is also a dynamic planet it is undergoing changes inside and outside constantly this chapter focuses on the interior of the earth and what it is made up of which is like an onion with many layers layers of the earth there are three layers of the earth which are the crust the mantle and the core The uppermost layer is the crust also known as the lithosphere it is the thinnest layer it is made up of topsoil and rocks which contain minerals children do you remember that in the previous chapter i told you about two parts of lithosphere well it has continental crust and oceanic crust let's talk about these two in detail Continental crust extends about thirty-five kilometers below the continental masses, and it is made up of silica and alumina. Whereas oceanic crust is only about five kilometers below the ocean floors, and made up of silica and magnesium. After the crust, the second or middle layer is the mantle. it can be as deep as 2900 kilometers below the crust the mantle contains molten rocks in the form of magma which when comes on the earth surface becomes lava so magma is found inside the earth whereas lava is outside on the surface the innermost layer is the core which has a radius of about 3500 kilometers made up of nickel and iron it has two parts inner core which is solid and outer core which is liquid core has very high temperature and pressure moving to the next topic let's discuss rocks we already know that rocks make up the earth's crust so any mass of mineral matter which is part of the crust is a rock rocks can be different in their size shape color and texture there are varied uses of rocks like for construction at home for domestic purposes for making jewelry playing games etc next up we have minerals which are naturally occurring substances they have certain physical properties and definite chemical composition minerals like coal iron aluminum gold salt uranium etc are very useful for us now let's talk about different types of rocks rocks are of various types and their division is done on the basis of their formation so there are three types of rocks igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks the process of transformation of one type of rock to another type is called the rock cycle igneous rocks these are also known as primary rocks Igneous rocks are formed by cooling and solidification of magma or lava. 
they are of two types intrusive igneous rocks and extrusive igneous rocks intrusive rocks are formed by cooling of magma inside the earth like granite on the other hand extrusive rocks are formed by cooling of lava on the earth surface like basalt next sedimentary rocks these are formed by small broken particles of rocks which are already existing these particles are called sediments the deposited sediments are compressed and hardened to form layers of rocks known as sedimentary rocks these rocks contain fossils which are the dead remains of animals and plants in them examples of sedimentary rocks include sandstone limestone siltstone and shale the third and the last type is metamorphic rocks these rocks are formed from pre-existing igneous and sedimentary rocks this happens when rocks are subjected to intense heat and pressure over a long time and then they change into metamorphic rocks for example limestone changes into marble and shale changes into slate under great heat and pressure that's it from the chapter i hope you enjoyed the video keep learning stay safe bye bye